For the last 10 years of my life, I have uh, walked uh, with uh, a ministry that has been a tremendous blessing to me. Uh, I am not, no different than other people. There are seasons in our lives where God requires us to do different things and go different directions because our needs change as our life changes. And uh, I've been praying for about almost, uh, almost a year. I've been praying about this, but I felt a release in the middle of the summer during our turn season. Everybody remember the turn season? I felt a release for my personal life, for myself, that, that I had another season and another direction to go. I met with uh, Bishop uh, Eddie Long and discussed with him that change in that direction and got his blessing and, and, and the Lord released us uh, as my ministry, Clint Brown Ministries, and my personal life from uh, that covering being our, my pastor. In that, I had been praying that God had that person. He showed that man of God to my life. I've been friends with him for many, many years, and he inspires me. When I'm around him, he challenges me. When I preach at his church, it reveals not just what I like, but really where I'm going and what God is doing in my life. And I saw that as the answer I had been praying for. And uh, as of today, uh, we an I announced today that uh, I've switched uh, or moved the covering of my life and this church into the ministry of uh, Bishop John Jenkins out of Washington, D.C. And um, I, also, I also don't believe that his location is, a, uh, is, a mis is just by happen chance. I believe that God has something for this ministry to do nationally and worldwide. And for some reason, i just been feeling in my spirit it was going to happen out of Washington, D.C. When I made this change uh, to Pastor John Jenkins, I got a call. I've not told anybody about the call because I wanted to talk about it with this church and with this house. I got a call and uh, from uh, three very powerful people out of Washington, D.C. I've been invited uh, starting January the 1st to be on a ministerial uh, they call it in a religious thing, but it's not really a religious thing. It's a God thing. A ministerial directive committee made up of eight men. Eight men for the uh, ministry-related uh, systems in the nation that make churches what they are and how they reach. Their choice of me uh, came because of the diversity of this house. And our percentage of diversity in this house is with the minorities. There are 37 nationalities sitting in these pews right now of people. Some, just because somebody's a certain color don't mean that's, that's who they are. That's just the color. So color can fake you out and fool you sometimes. And so um, I've, been, I've been selected for that committee. It starts January the 1st, 2011. And it was a selected committee, committee by the President of the United States, uh, our President Obama. And so I serve on that committee January the 1st. Amen. I'm excited about that because it gives this church an opportunity, and I will be meeting with them in November. It gives this church an opportunity through the relationships and the connections to make worldwide impact in, in, in the world. And, and if you have that kind of voice, God will take you places. And I knew at that moment, whenever I was presented with that, and some of you saw uh, Senator Lewis here, uh, the, the day Senator Lewis from, from uh, uh, Georgia was with us. And that was one of the purposes for his trip. Uh, maybe it was in the 930 that he was here and some of y'all didn't see him from Georgia. But he came with uh, Congresswoman Corrine Brown and uh, presented that opportunity to me. And I, I accepted it with great uh, humility and told them, you know, I'm just going to tell you this. You know, it is what it is and you're going to get what you see and that's the way it is. I'm not going to come up in there and and, and be what I'm not. I'm going to be who I am and what we do. Amen? That's what we do. And so uh, I'm not going to wear a suit. This is just anniversary Sunday, so I ain't wearing no suit. No, I'm just but um, God is opening doors and doing many, many things. But when I was in Washington and when I, when I uh, felt the last time with Pastor John Jenkins, I knew this is it. And every time I come for this committee, every time I come for this um, uh, importation, I know that God had a man of God for my life to help and impart. So some of you do not know Bishop John Jenkins. How many of you do not know who Pastor John Jenkins is? Look up at the big screens. He wanted to greet you this morning, and so this is who he is.
praise the Lord to my brothers and sisters at Faith World in Orlando, Florida. This is Pastor John K. Jenkins, Sr. of the First Baptist Church in Glen Arden, Maryland. I know some of you may not know who I am or even where our church is, but we're located just outside of Washington, D.C., and I have been blessed to be the senior pastor of this wonderful church for the past 20 years, coming up 21 years. It has been my pleasure and my delight to see this church grow and to see lives changed and transformed. We see thousands of people changed and saved on an annual basis. We see people filled with the presence of God, marriages put back together, children delivered, people are coming off the streets and off drugs. God is moving in an incredible way. We recently, uh, just three years ago, moved into a brand new worship facility, seats 4,000 people. We have 44 classrooms. We're excited to see the 2,000 parking spaces and to thank God that each Sunday morning, each Sunday, we see 10,000 persons come and worship with us. And we are excited that Pastor Clint Brown has played a part in the development and the growth of our church. He has ministered to us on many, many occasions. And that's why I'm excited to announce and celebrate that Pastor Brown and I have entered into a wonderful relationship where uh, God is calling us to be bonded together in a covenant relationship and I'm going to serve as his covering pastor. And so I'm excited about that and we wanted to make that announcement to you and let you know we're looking forward to partnering with Faith World of Orlando and seeing God bring Faith World to a place of power and might, even mightier than it is. We believe God's gonna cause great things to happen. And so to you, Faith World, and to the members of the Faith World Church, and to my friend and my brother, whom I've known for many, many years, I'm excited to be in this covering relationship with you and looking forward to the hand of God resting mightily upon that relationship and seeing God move Faith World to a dynamic place. We love you. I'll be down to visit and see you guys in the future. Looking forward to cultivating and spending time with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you all. God bless you. And we look forward to seeing you.